Good day. Welcome to First Take exclusively on YouTube. Here with Stephen A. Smith and his nephew, Jay Smith. Hello. Jay, it's great to have you with us. Did I not, did, 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 speak, yeah. First of all, did I not tell you don't speak until you've spoken to? And if you're going to speak, speak louder so the audience can hear you. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. You want to talk a little NBA, Jace? Yeah. You cool with that? All right, let's do it. Yeah. The yeah. Lakers won in a landslide last night against the Jazz, 131 to 99. LeBron only needed to play 24 minutes, scoring 17 points, which put him over 39,000 career points. The first player ever in NBA history to eclipse 39,000 and can potentially reach the 40,000 point mark. What LeBron James has been able to do this season is absolutely unbelievable. Entering the 2023-2024 season, the most points per game in a player's 21st season was 7.4. That was by Vince Carter in 2018-2019. LeBron averaging 25.7 points per game this season. Now, I don't know how Shannon got in this one, but I got to ask, will LeBron's remarkable scoring record help his longevity to pass MJ in the GOAT debate? Well, he'll never pass MJ in the GOAT debate as far as I'm concerned because he's not a six-time champion. He's a four-time champion, even though he's had an inordinate amount of diff uh, uh, more seasons than Michael Jordan. LeBron James, to me, is number two on the all-time list. He's the second greatest player in the history of basketball. He's phenomenal. We know this. He's a career 27-point-per-game scorer in his 21st season. He's averaging 25.7 points. He deserves a lot of credit, a lot of credit, okay? And we're not throwing any shade, especially in front of the kids, because TVA love the kids. Uncle Steve love the kids. Don't I, don't I love the kids? Yeah. Say it. Don't, don't I love the kids? Uncle Steve love the kids. Yeah, he sure does. He sure does. See what I'm saying? So the point is that he knows I'm not going to lie on LeBron James, especially in front of the kids. He's phenomenal. He's great. We will miss him when he's gone. He's to be appreciated. And to see him doing what he's doing, I think the greatest thing about LeBron James is that he keeps himself in tip-top condition. He doesn't cheat the game. He doesn't take it for granted. And that, to me, as great as his exploits are, he deserves just as much credit for that. Am I right? Yes, you are right. And I think that Michael Jordan will be, is, will be the GOAT. He is the GOAT because he has, like, more championships and more MVPs mm -hmm. and okay. just has better stats. Okay, okay. better scoring stats. I'm, so, I'm impressed by you because usually, you know, younger generation will go LeBron, but oh. you're going MJ. Yeah, historian he's, of the he's, game. Because he's, a, he's a, a Smith. There we go. He's a wise. his last name is man. Smith. That's right. All right, Jace. Way to go. Not bad, Jace, bro. Jace, can I move on? Not bad, man. Yes. Let's go. Okay, okay. Let's, I'm go, let's go. All right. All right. LeBron and the, and the Lakers okay. in action tonight against Luka. Kyrie and the Mavs, as we take a look at some notable games, a great slate of games in the NBA tonight, highlighted by an ESPN doubleheader. First, 7.30 Eastern, the Bucks visit the Celtics in Boston, followed by the Warriors in Phoenix taking on the Suns. Elsewhere, the 76ers face the Timberwolves, who are first in the Western Conference. Okay, which game are you most looking forward to, Jace? They're right up there on the screen. Which game? Pick a game that you're looking forward um, to the most. I'm looking at Speak the, up. the Bucks. And the Celtics. Mm. Okay. Now, why does that one catch your attention? Because I want to see Jason Tatum and Giannis go back to back in points. Okay. okay. And I want to see you get some more points this game. Okay. Okay. Now, that's what I was going to say. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it just the, the, the fruit don't fall too far from the tree, Molly. Okay? Because that's what I was going to say. I was going to say the Bucks and the Celtics. Why? Because coming into this season, we told we said those were the two favorites to come out of the East. Yep. One of the others is going to come out of the East. Now, Philadelphia obviously makes a big-time trade to help out Maxie and B. We'll have a different conversation. But until that happens, it's about Milwaukee, and it's about the Boston Celtics. This is the game we've all looked forward to. Yep. This is the matchup we're looking forward to most in the Eastern Conference playoff picture, at least at this particular moment in time. Dame Dollar and Giannis versus Tatum. All right, with Jalen Brown. By the way, Drew Holiday, the former Milwaukee Buck, is on there. Is, is on the Boston Celtics now. Um, we, these are two of the better teams in the, in, in, the, in the league. So we're gonna go with that. And, and I'm proud of my nephew for, for making sure he agreed with me on that. Yeah, Jace, couple questions for you. Who's yeah. your favorite NBA team? Um, the Warriors. Who's your favorite player? Steph Curry. Okay, and tell me who's your favorite NFL team? The Cowboys. <gasps> oh, that's where the hat came from. I did not know Who's your that my little nephew the was a Cowboy fan. Dak Prescott. <sighs> Jace, 
Okay, so how Stephen A is an uncle? Uh, be good. honest. Uh, scary. Oh, all right. You know what? Let's end, let's end it on that note. I wish we had that answer on camera. You would say he's good, but he's scary. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. He's kind of moody, right? Mm -hmm. Like sometimes he's nice and then sometimes he's in a bad mood, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Jace, it's really nice to meet you. Thanks for being nice here tonight. To you you did a great job. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to watch First Take Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. on ESPN. Be sure to check out more exclusive First Take debates on YouTube. The producers just said they agree he's scary.